All right, we ready to crank this baby off? All right, we're back. Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. All right, we got a big surprise for you folks, okay? We got a young man here that's what, from what Tennessee? What part of Tennessee? Clarksville. Clarksville, Tennessee. And what's your name, sir? Sawyer Moulton. And how old are you? Eight. I just... But you're really 30 years old, right? You're an old man in a young man's body? Yes. Okay, so me and you got something common. I'm a young man. I'm going to turn 15 my birthday, which is going to be April 27th. <clears throat> and trapped in the, I'm trapped in an old man's body, 73-year-old. Okay, but I'm going to turn 15 here, 28th, April 27th. <laughs> but anyway, folks, welcome Sawyer <laughs> to the podcast. Sawyer, si, where did you find Sawyer? Well, I drove up, parked my truck, was getting out. I had met him in church yesterday. Okay. Okay, and they said, you remember us? And I said, oh, I would never forget you. <laughs> you know? So there so, you go. So he said, well, can I be on the podcast? I said, well, hey, come on in, follow me. So that's all you got to do, folks. Show that's up, it. sit in the parking right. lot. And that's right. Show up. And then, hey, that's how you, know, you can be on here. Next thing that. you know, you done pulled uh, in here. Yeah. Look, hey, there's still hope for America. We got Sawyer. How old was he? Eight? Yeah. Is that what you said? He's in here. He's wearing camouflage. The right camouflage, mind you. Yeah. Real tree. Magellan. That even checks the box for and me. And I even told him yesterday, I said, hey, he had overalls on yesterday. And you wore your nice overalls to church? Yeah, and he had, look, he had a, a brand pocket. Brand new. Yeah, brand new. And hey, look, he had a pocket on him. And I said, hey, look, here's one thing I want you to do for me as a favor. I said, hey, let me have a pocket. I said, put Jesus in that pocket right next to your heart. And keep it with you everywhere you go. Yeah. And I told his younger brother over there, what's your younger brother's name? Levi. Levi. I told Levi, and I said, hey, be sure, Sawyer, to share Jesus with Levi. And y'all take him everywhere you go. Hey, and whenever you told me that, yep. I had a Hot Wheels pickup truck in my pocket. I pulled it out and said, well, it looks like Jesus is going to be driving a pickup. That's right. He's a, <laughs> he's a redneck. That's good to know. Jesus is a redneck. He drives a Hot Wheel pickup, boys. Uh, they come a long way from that donkey. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Right. He done got a whole different kind of four wheel drive. Uh, hey, uh, hey, probably got uh, a four forty Hemi under it too, uh, since it's a hot hot wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy um, being on the podcast, sorry. Oh yeah, well, we, we 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 enjoying you. Sorry, what what do you do for fun in Tennessee? Um, me and my dad go deer hunting and turkey hunting most of the time, so. Um, mm -hmm. All right, what's the biggest buck you killed so far? Well, I've only killed, well, I, fir I killed my first deer last year, and it's a big doe. Oh, okay. But we couldn't eat it because I got shot it. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean. Well, look, you had to you go can hunt side in. Buddy. <laughs> but, hey, look, <laughs> since you brought that up, I'll tell you, me and this young man right here went deer hunting. Okay, and we're all in the blind. We're sitting there, and. He wants to kill a doe because you got to, you know, you got to manage the herd. So finally, you know, a doe comes out there and we wait. You know, she don't have any young ones. And he said, hey, go ahead and shoot her. Well, I was literally blind that day in the in the blind. I said, because, look, I usually just bear down, take a deep breath, and right before I shoot, I go, hold my breath. And I actually really squeezed the trigger. I was brain dead that day, okay? Because if they had one of them medical machines on me and checking for brain waves, it wasn't none, okay? Because I jerked the trigger and I shot about 12 foot over that doe's back. <laughs> okay, look. He put it on YouTube for the whole world to see. Yes, I did. Okay, here is Uncle Si deer hunting. Hey, <laughs> we ain't showed him the time it took you seven shots to kill that yeah. one over your shoulder. Hey, so. y'all lying. It ain't, but didn't take me but five. Okay. <laughs> okay, look. Hey, that deer, that deer right there, that's Japan deer. Okay, because look, he literally committed Harry Carey, which is suicide. Yeah. Okay, because I shot at him five times before he died. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He got tired of it. He so, couldn't hey, stand look, it no more. Well, here's the thing. Okay. Honesty, truth be known. Everybody misses. Even Daniel Boone missed every once in a while. Just depends on how good the editor is. That's right. Just depends on how good your people <laughs> and, are. And before I had killed that doe, 
I had shot at a couple but missed. Oh, so. okay. Well. Hey, and one day whenever we were having target practice with my dad and my girl cousin, hey, <laughs> my dad, he shot my regular gun, well, and, wait, wait. and he you was mean, you off. Got, you got a regular gun and then for the special gun? Well, I got two gun. I got two rivals. Oh, okay. And so he shot one of my rivals. Um... He shot about a foot off the target, and <laughs> then it sounds like you and your dad need to go through your rifle then. Yeah. Then, then I shot, and I only got like an inch off of him. Okay, well, so maybe, I shot hey, better than well, my hey, dad. You better take dad to the optometrist, <laughs> okay, and have his eyes checked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my man. Well, here's the deal: what kind uh, of a rifle are we hunting with? <clears throat> um. Like a big one, two forty three. Yes. Okay. Right. Pea shooter. I like it. A pea shooter. Yeah. <laughs> That's what a two forty three. Or you could have. He could have bought you a a uh, four pin shotgun and put a slug in it, and that'd be that'd be a deer rifle. Yeah. Which I did. I did have a four ten. So. Well, yeah, I knew that. That's why I brought it up. What happened to it? <laughs> um, my dad still has it. I was gonna say, you trying to sell it? Mm-hmm. I like small boars now. I yeah. I, yeah. I'm always in the market for well, a 410. I, I buy a 410 myself. Yeah, I'm always in the market for a 410. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, we, we, shoot, we shoot ducks and quail with a 28 gauge. Okay, and that's what that's what a, a Benelli 28 gauge was made for, is shooting quail. Who's making all that? In my humble opinion. What is that? Somebody but hey, you can kill anything with it. Mm. Yeah. So what else do you do? Uh, Saw so you play any kind of sports or anything? Uh, baseball. Mm-hmm. What, what position, position do you play? Catcher. I did play catcher last year, but I did love catcher because I mean you get a ball like every single time somebody comes up to bat. <laughs> Can't argue with and, that. And um, um, this year I mean I'm playing two positions. Oh, okay. Same first time. and third. First and third. At first same, base, baby. At the same time? No. No. I fix that. I fix that. I know what Flash Flash is now. Hey. He played both of them. Hey, the the kid that is playing first most of the time. Uh oh. I mean, no. Is he tall and lanky? No, third. He's smaller than me, but like he <laughs> he is kind of a jerk. He's kind of a jerk. Hey, hey, your mom's well, got her may, hand over her hey, head over they here. They may think the same thing about you. Hey, no. said he's kind of a jerk. Hey, at practice, I, I had to run from um second back to first. Yeah. And he was standing right on the first baseline. And wouldn't let you get on the base? And, and um. Oh, you I got a bu- right to the I bag now. I bumped into him, and he's like, you want me to punch you in the face for it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't nice. <laughs> I said, "Hey, whatever, whatever floats uh, your dress, all right." I said, "Hey, hey, hey, I'm hey, the, I'm move. the, I'm hey. the fastest one on the team. You think you can do that?" Yeah, there you go. Hey. <laughs> that sounds like my high school days. <laughs> First day in gym, in in freshman, that's what happened to me. Except he didn't say you want me to punch you. He just punched me. He sucker punched me. Sawyer, is everybody from Clarksville, Tennessee, like you? Uh, I'm not <laughs> sure. I've I've noticed about people from Tennessee. Careful now. Yeah, no, 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 no. Careful no, no. now. That's well, the heart of our fan base. No, no, now, no, careful. No. Hey, look, Tennessee's good country. Hey, Amen. Okay. Sawyer, are you a all? Yes. But um, that, that seemed like we had a butt coming. Okay, I don't hey. know. I'm also a lot like my uh, great grandfather, and I like the Steelers oh. too. Oh, Steelers. Uh, okay. All right. There you okay. go. So, do you know Rocky Top? Uh, you know the song? Yes. I was gonna let you send us out of here to our first break with you leading us in a little Rocky Top. You wanna do that? Uh oh. No. He said no. I'm no. out on that, boys. No. <laughs> No. Yeah, he's out. No. Uh, he said he ain't leaving no singing, boys. Well, Sawyer. Hey, I might give my mom's phone to do it, but no, <laughs> I'm a terrible singer. Well, I don't see how. You sure enunciate your words very well, so that I don't. 
Uh, I like it. That's good. <laughs> Saw your look, man. We appreciate having you on this first break. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. Everybody show Sawyer from Clarksville, Tennessee, a little bit of love. We'll see y'all here in a minute. Look, you know what? Once you sign up for Battle Box for an outdoorsman or a hunter, it's like Christmas every stinking time. You don't ever know what you're going to get. Look, Stone, he going for the blade. He always does. Johnny D, how many matches we got left? We ain't had to use but one. Look at that Look thing. At that, thing. Time, baby. that is the coolest match on earth. Is that? Oh, wait, there's... There's a there's a uh, sprinkler. Yeah, this there. might not be safe, but uh -oh. si, that's not going out. Hey, it ain't gonna blow out, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> Look, Battle Box is your go-to monthly subscription for hand-picked outdoor survival and everyday carry gear. Getting the best gear for yourself not only takes time, but can be incredibly expensive. That's why Battle Box brings you name-brand, high-quality products every month at half the price of what they'd cost on their own. Just pick the box that works for you and get tested and vetted products you can trust that are selected by an expert team of outdoor professionals from an aquapod emergency water kit to an atomic bear survival bivy delivered right to your doorstep each month. Battle Box has shipped over 1 million boxes since 2015 and has been featured everywhere in the New York Times to Survivor's Edge. We can't get enough of the matches. The matches Every, are amazing. Everybody needs a match you can't put out. And not to mention, you always need a new knife. Especially if you travel as much as we do, because you leave them at the outdoor, boy. at the uh, TSA checkpoint. Find out why outdoor enthusiasts call Battle Box the best gear I never knew I wanted. Again, a perfect example is the matches. Sign up, receive, survive. What are you waiting for? Don't miss another Battle Box mission. And from now until March 31st, get a free mystery box worth $115 plus with any new subscription at trybattlebox.com slash duck. That's a free mystery box. Worth $115 right now at trybattlebox.com slash duck. Trybattlebox.com slash duck. That's try b a t t l b o x dot com slash duck. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, good gracious. I don't know how we get back from that. Praise God. That was better than most. <laughs> better than most. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Sawyer. My man Sawyer. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, every now and then, you stumble across a, <laughs> a diamond in the rough, and that was our old – He was, that was one our, of them. That was our friend Sawyer. Yeah. So, diamond. Uh, one of them. Yeah. Sawyer. Where did you find him? In the parking lot? Oh, no, no. I drove up, and they were sitting there. And, matter of fact, the door of their van was open. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they you know, got me, too. She got in and set, shut the door, and I pulled up right beside her, and I said, y'all remember? They, you know, they said, y'all remember us? And I said, oh, yeah, I remember you. You know, I, I was sitting behind Cy uh, when he told that little boy that, and uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, that, that was, it was a powerful moment because I looked at, at, at the face of his mom, and and the look on her face was, I can't believe this you know, this is happening right now. Well, I got to watch the face of his mom the whole time he was talking, and she was terrified of what he was about to say. Well, hey, the boy, the boy ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> and now we know Jesus drives a pickup truck. <laughs> That's right. it. He hey, drives a hot wheel. Oh, speaking of church yesterday, so, oh, wow, laid it down, didn't he? No, no, what are you talking about? So think about this, and he made a good point, and, uh, which really, you know, almost brought a tear to my eye, and – <clears throat> the way the way he said it, close your eyes, yeah, and you think about one person in your life who is patient and kind and kind. Think about that, and odds are that that person is loved by, by everyone all. around them. Yeah, by all. That's yeah. a good. Point. Think about and, it, and it's actually it's actually so true. Yeah. Okay. Sire, are you patient? Uh, but I've, I've showed it sometimes, but <laughs> not, not generally. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sire is yeah. the, one of the kindest men I've ever met. Oh, absolutely. He does not have any patience. Yeah. Uh, no. You say <laughs> that, but look, the man just brought in a kid that he ain't ever met from well, the that's street right. and put him in that chair. If that ain't a show of patience, I don't know what is. Oh, no, well, that's no. right. Most uh, people, look, most people that have the platform that we have, 
wouldn't have given eight year old kid more than about three minutes. That's right. I mean, for real. So in that case, what it is. In that case, you do have a lot of patience. Yeah, but absolutely. When we go on fishing trips. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> That's what well, no, no, no. Because hey, here's no, what, no fishing, hey. no hunting. He ain't got no. I mean, unless he's got a place he can sleep. Look here, if I'd have been sitting over there and 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 watching what was going on, see, my perspective would I'd have been looking at two kids. Yeah. That's what it was like. We all no, were. No, 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 I'm serious. Okay, because I, 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 I refuse to grow up. Oh, yeah. No, okay. Hey, I was looking at three of them over there. Well, Johnny, no, no. Johnny oh, D yeah. was laughing like he was an eight year old. Well, no, no. I love that kid. Yeah. I'm He's just, coming to spend the night with Carter tonight. I'm like, you're, you're now my kid's friend because I wanted uh, to hang out with you. Oh, uh, but going back to that uh, patient and kind thing, and he gave the example, and he said, you know who I think of when I think of a person who is patient and kind he said i think of my son-in-law's mother my mom oh yeah and uh i would agree with that and boy that brought a tear to my eye because i you know what because i thought of the same exact person and miss paula uh godwin's wife she thought of the same exact person which is and you know i got a long ways to go in that area so uh, i thought to myself you know i need to be I need to strive to be well, more like no, my no. mom. I mean, what well, a good example right there. Um, it, it's, it's very difficult, especially in today's atmosphere. Well, I, I was telling them. To be them, patient with other humans. Yeah, I was telling them a while ago, before we started the podcast, about Al's lesson. Yeah. And I said, the contrast mm. that he showed, okay, because he asked the question, okay, first is what is love, what's not, you know, what's not love? Yeah, because he said, "Hey, the 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 scripture says, okay, you know, the just two, you know, love is patient and kind. Okay, but it says a whole much more lot, lot behind that. Mm-hmm. But he gave the contrast. Okay, here's what love is not. It doesn't, you know, delight in evil. Mm-hmm. Doesn't envy. Doesn't, doesn't envy all this yeah. stuff." And when the, when you do that, and then you say, okay, think, close your eyes and think of a person in your life that you've met that has those two characteristics. They're both patient and kind. Mm-hmm. Well, that's one of the one yeah. thing too that the world today wants out of you is patience. It's a right now kind of attitude. Yeah. You know, how do we order stuff online? We expect it there in two days. Well, yeah. When it ain't there in two days, we get mad. Oh no, yeah. It used to take two weeks, and we didn't bat an eye at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's just that is the way of the well, world. No, no, is it patience is no longer a thing? Yeah, most mm. people, young people especially, tell me, "Well, okay, I want to buy. I want my house. I want to buy a house right now." And they look at mom and dad and say, "Well, mom and dad, you know, yeah, but hey, it took them forty years before they bought that house." Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and yeah. and everybody is to give me and I, and give it to me now. Yeah. yeah, there's not a lot of patience yeah. in today's society, you know, and I find myself, you know, fighting the urge to be impatient. It's, it's human. It's human nature. It is for me anyway to be impatient with people, which is and you can see it in every scenario, especially you get in your car and you drive home. <laughs> uh, you, you will get into it before you leave. You won't be 100 yards. You know, Somebody cut in front of you or whatever. It's just people being yeah. imp- impatient. Yeah. Being people. That's all it is. Yeah, being people. People being people. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's tough not to be. I get it. I mean, I, I, I have I have those tendencies, So, but we try to fight them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty slow moving just about everything I do. <laughs> but the, the whole I, thing about Al. I'm in the right lane. <laughs> you know, is that, okay, there's three. Hope, faith, faith hope, and love. And the greatest is love, of course. Mm-hmm. And then the lesson was, okay, why is it the greatest? Because it always, you know, it's about it's about the other person. It's never about self. Yeah. Hmm. You know, everything in love is it's always someone else doing something for somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's why it is the greatest. That'll preach right there. Yeah. Oh no, well, it's just young. Yeah. Cause then I look, cause I, I go. 
I've limited myself in, in religious stuff, or I'm starting to, to the two commandments, okay? Love God first with everything you've got, okay? And then go horizontal, okay? And love your, your fellow man, your fellow human being as yourself. You know, and then with Al's lesson Sunday, you know, I've even gone more because everything Jesus did, he did it for us when we were not, we wasn't worth it. We, we never will be worth it. Mm -mm. But yet he still did it. Now you got to think about that. He knows we're not ever going to be worth it. Okay, but yet he still did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why that's why love is the greatest. Okay, it's always about the other person, how you want him. Because I always got get mad when people get, you know, see somebody that hit a lottery, and they're angry about it. Dude, why not be happy for the guy that hit it? Heck yeah. <laughs> You know, why would you be angry for somebody that has something good happen to him? Because it didn't happen to them. Because it didn't happen to them. Uh, it, it's it's yeah. It's in a, a person. It, it's in me. I, I well, it's in us all to yeah. to be selfish. Yeah. Especially when you're a little kid. Yeah. And you know, I'd say the older I've gotten, I I've come to realize that I need to fight that urge to be selfish. Because it's it's just something about it. It's in me. And I fight it all the time, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's a t that's a good one there, Si. No, no, I, I, every time you know, <clears throat> it always shocks me, and I don't know why. You know, God has your life planned out, and He brings people in your life, and they say something, just at the time that you need it. Okay, because every time I go and I sit down and Al comes and says, puts a lesson, because I don't know how he's going to top that one that he's done Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's the best one I've well, ever no, no, heard. It, that's the best one I've ever heard. Uh, it, it pricked me, I can tell yeah. you that. Okay, that's the best one I've ever heard him preach, okay? No doubt. Because it's always about everyone else. Yeah, and 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 I'm trying to like you. Every time I see something like that, okay, hey, dude, you need, you know, move on, move out, okay, and share, move out. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be just with me, 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 me. Mm -hmm. You know, go, go the other way. But it's still aggravating that bullfrog catch a fish on every cast and you don't get a bite. Well, uh -oh. hey, you know. <laughs> hey, you got to indulge your selfishness every once in a while. No, no, look, I don't mind much. <laughs> At least okay. that one's healthy. I don't yeah. mind much until she has that little smirky grin. She starts smiling about it. Yeah. I wonder then where she I, got then that. Then it irritates you. It's irritating then. Yeah, I can't you know, imagine. I'm looking at that. an eight foot bass. I mean, eight inch bass, and she's got one. Okay, that this one is a shiner, and the other one, her seven and a half pounder, could eat this little shiner I got. You but go. it was a great photograph. Oh, it was. It was. Hey, and she to, had that little smirky grin on her face. Just goes to show you, sometimes you the bass, sometimes you the shiner. Right, right. Hey, sometimes really you the bug, and other times you the windshield, baby. There you go. I still <laughs> never, I don't ever really understand how the windshield wins in that scenario, but, you know. Still alive? But it ain't living. That's true. So there you go. But anyway, we'll be back right after this. sure you've heard about a little thing going over between you know russia and the ukraine yeah. yep well you know who's over there helping yep samaritan purse yep our a friends great, a great bunch of people absolutely our friends over at samaritan's purse are proving that they are indeed the hands and feet of jesus they have set up shop in ukraine uh all around set up shop in poland helping all the refugees, more than 2 million refugees have fled the Ukraine. You've heard us talk about our friends over at Samaritan's Purse many times and how they truly are the hands and feet of Jesus. They've been at it for more than 50 years. And once again, Samaritan's Purse is on the ground working to meet the needs of these families and point them to the light and hope of Jesus Christ. They mobilized right away airlifting relief supplies and a field hospital, which is being set up in the Ukraine. That emergency field hospital has nearly 60 beds and two operating rooms and will be able to receive trauma victims, maternity patients, and anyone who simply has no place else to go for medical care. Samaritan's Purse also has disaster response specialists staged in Poland, 
Romania, and Moldova. Please join us in praying today for everybody who has been affected by this crisis and for an end to the conflict. Look, folks, Samaritan's Purse do a lot of great work here in the United States. They do, but they also do it worldwide. And they're over there helping our brothers and sisters in a time that probably none of us can even imagine what's going on. Uh, can't even believe what's happening. Here's what we need you to do if you would like to support Samaritan's Purse and the people of the Ukraine. We have two options. One, you can go to samaritanspurse.org slash duck to donate or learn more. Just pull it up right there on the TV screens. The deal you'll see. Again, that's samaritanspurse.org slash duck or click the link in the show notes. Or if you prefer, you can also call the direct line at one 800 789 one seven seven six and donate today again that number is one eight hundred seven eight nine one seven seven six if you don't talk about a grown man slapping another man in the face then what are we even doing here i don't actually want to talk about it yeah but i think we have to well yeah there's a lot to unpack <laughs> in that situation well there's a lot there's just a lot to unpack Sai, did you see it no, I didn't. My wife told me about it. Oh, so you know about it. Yeah. So, Si, a comedian gets up on stage, makes a joke about Christine. You going up there and slapping him in the face? Probably not. What if it was about something that Christine had been picked on and prodded on and you knew she couldn't stand? Well, that, then it'd be a different story. They're all saying that uh, they, Will Smith should be charged with assault. Yeah. No. Si. <laughs> Could you imagine telling somebody that hits you on the first day of ninth grade they need to go to jail or be charged? Oh, that, but see, that's kids. That's kids being Well, kids. a grown man. But I'm just saying that, you know, this brings me right back to what we were talking about with Al's lessons. Be patient and kind. But I do think it would be a good message if they did get together, come to a common ground, then make an announcement together, too, because yeah. me and some of my best friends have hit each other in the jaw. Mm-hmm. I've hit and we still friends. friends. Like, but you know what? We said something stupid one time. Another one hit us in the jaw. Well, no, no. Because that's know? right. Yeah. Like, that's a good thing. That's healthy. No, no. I don't care what no. anybody says. That's healthy. That is. That is healthy relationships right there. So I grabs me from time to time. Well. I, I want to knock you out. Yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to. Yeah. Do it. We'll still yeah. be friends. Yeah. Yeah. And what, but he what may swing back. Right. But I show a little restraint. Oh, well, something tells me Mr. Smith's patience uh, had run out. Yeah. Well, I did see a thing. There was a, like, 2016 Chris Rock. Ran it, ran a bunch of jokes about Will Smith's wife then too. Yeah. Not about her hair or something, but oh, this is not something I didn't understand and yeah, did not feel like reading about it either. Has happened before. That's what I told my wife. I said something about this don't sound right. Well, you know the what's the word I'm looking for of myself? Slap? Uh, no, macho man. It felt contrived. You know, I I just felt like. Man, how do we get people to start talking about the Oscars again? Because at this point, nobody cares. Nobody cares. I would not. I I promise you this. I didn't even know they were happening last night until I see something that says Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Just if, to see, say what's going on. Yeah. I would then, be sitting here right now, ignorant that the Oscars even happened. Absolutely. Had somebody not got just I would, slapped. Absolutely. <laughs> I was doing two things last night with the TV. Yeah? Channel, oh, there's the Oscars. Channel, okay. There's the uh, uh, the new American song where they're going to different states. Oh. I always wondered who was sing. still watching reality TV. Okay. <laughs> so that's the only reason I know the Oscars uh, was on last night is I flipped to the channel. And you went okay, past Okay. Then I have got went on the other one. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to watch that. Gotcha. So that's the reason I missed it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching soccer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Soccer. Yeah. We yeah. qualified for the World Cup last night, baby. Well, Christian Pulisic I, with a hat trick. I got my two channels, okay? <laughs> the Western Channel and the uh, and the music channel. Uh, <laughs> I was watching fishing. I had recorded. So. <laughs> you were watching fishing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know that, I don't, it's weird. It, I, I hate that I'm in a spot where I think that the first time I see stuff like that is that it's fake. He also, really hit him, though. I also hate that I don't like the convenience factor of Duke versus North Carolina in the Final Four. I All don't day. I don't like it. Hey, I knew that was coming. Oh, I agree. I, I know you okay. called it. I knew that was coming because, hey, you know, <laughs> I 
I just they just they have a history. Yeah. Okay. It they, just seems it's convenient. never happened yeah. before though. Yeah. It's they've out of never all played the in years, the tournament. Out of all the years, they've been so good. They've never matched up in the tournament. And then suddenly, and by they, I mean I both. They teams. had. They not in the NCAA tournament. You gotta be kidding me! No, sir. Well, then they played all, play all the time. And then Coach K's last year. Here it is. They play in the final. Four. Oh, it did surprise me. I, it don't well, surprise I thought me they either. Had played I just, each other before. I don't know. It just feels weird. Feels this. <laughs> Every team I root for loses, so I'm done. Yeah. Well, look. So hey, who do you want to win? St. Peter did a fabulous job, and they went in the history books. Yeah. Okay, for the first fifteenth seed. To go to the elite six week sixteen yeah. and the elite eight. Yeah, go peacocks. Yeah. They got Did a you run see to that, be that proud man of. had never well, they got nothing to hang their head about. They no. done a fantastic job. Did you they see They beat three three giants. I call them the giant slayers. Yeah. They beat three. Hey, trying to beat four is kinda of, you know, be pretty rough go. Si. Yeah. Did you see you know the Doug Eddard guy, little number twenty five, he's probably huge. Uh for uh St. Peter's has never eaten a sandwich in his life. What? He tried it once, <laughs> and he didn't like it. So he well, refuses not to eat. eat meat between bread. Huh. So he's out on hot dogs. He doesn't eat. Yeah. Careful. Is he out on tacos? <laughs> I don't know. But I literally watched the whole, it was the most interesting thing I've ever seen. It was like, no, I tried chicken between bread once and took one bite and said, this isn't for me. And he literally, he's never, no yeah. peanut butter and jelly. He's, the, man, the man hasn't ever ate a sandwich. Well, you know, the best part of the sandwich is what's in the middle. Mm-hmm. That's true. But it's hard to eat a spoonful of peanut butter and a spoonful of jelly. It is. <laughs> you need a device. I just didn't know. <laughs> you, know have a device. you need a delivery like device it. for it. A delivery uh, device. You know? That's just, like, you know, me and Godwin like to go to a local restaurant here at lunchtime, a little Latin place, and they mm. make this thing called a a baleatus, 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 baleatus. Yeah. That's the one wrapped in full. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a big soft case of dia. It's a big, yeah, big yeah. flour tortilla filled with eggs, avocados, steak, and crema. Crema, homemade What's sour crema? cream, uh, homemade sour cream, and it's some good. kind of yeah. yeah, some kind of goat cheese, which is delicious. Yeah. So me and Godwin hammered that thing. That thing's good on the regular. Yeah, I always said if they was open at four thirty, I'd stop there every morning in duck season buy that's, one of them. I things. guarantee you, that's, that's the Hondurans. That's yeah. the best breakfast burrito you ever put in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, Hondurans. Hey, they so, know they know what to do. It. it was the other day. It's ten thirty. I was hungry, and I, and I said, "Let's go get one of them. Let's go get some of that." I'd Hondurans love to food. hear Godwin order one of them. He said, Give me one of them he, huh? said, he said, it ain't but 10 30. I said, well, it's got eggs in it. We officially in brunch, brunch time, time now. <laughs> Amen. On that note, let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. Uh, <laughs> slap some people. <laughs> Going bald, ain't it fun? <laughs> it I don't is. Know. Hey, it's just a part of life for some of us. Now, you clowns here, I mean, that's fine. Si. Hey, I'm on my way out, too. Yeah, but you're yeah. 70. Well, hey, I'm 37. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just get a complex about that kind of thing. You no longer have to choose between better hair growth and your health. There's a holistic solution for men that promotes both healthier hair and whole body wellness. Look, you can't just take care of one. You need to take care of it all. Our friends over at Nutrafol are doing just that. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. It's clinically shown to help you grow more hair, mm-hmm. to help you thickness. Yeah. And for visible scalp coverage. Amen. Look, Nutrafol's hair growth nutraceuticals. Ooh, that's that's a nice name. Nutraceuticals. Yeah, I got that one out all the first time. Go beyond genetics to multi-target the root cause of thinning hair, which includes stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, and lifestyle. Look, it works. It helps. And you're not putting crazy things into your body. It's all holistic. It's all good for you. In a clinical study, men show progressive improvement in their hair growth and thickness after three to six months so doesn't take long to start seeing the results that they're going to tell you Nutrafol is also trusted and recommended by more than 3,000 top doctors you can grow thicker healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering the promo code duck to save $15 off your first month subscription this is their best offer anywhere and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time Plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code DUCK. 
Look here, so si. What? I got some rib glaze in the mail. That's what? a big bucket. What is that? Hot honey. Is that a gallon? What is that it? Is Mid- Midlies? One gallon. Of honey? Of Mike's hot honey. Hot honey. Look. The best rib glaze known to man. Is it? Right here. I can't do it. When you go, when you going? Well, you ate them the other day. I know. Let's ask hey, you hold on now. Look, on the okay. side of it, it says enjoy on pizza, fried chicken, cheese, tea, salads, ice cream, ice fruit, cream. veggies. In other words, you, hey, you're a honey freak. In other words, judging by that, you put that on anything. Yeah, put really? that baby on everything. I guarantee you. Pizza? Well, I got me about a year supply at least. It's hot, honey. Somebody sent you that? Yeah, uh, Miss Jacqueline. Thank it's you. Got, it's Thank got you, a little Jacqueline. fire to it. Oh, yeah. You, it's honey with a little heat. Oh. Well, it says it's infused with chilies. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fine. You want to pour some in your tea? It says well, no, it's, no, it says no, it's no, good in no. tea. Hey, you need to cook some of them uh, uh, tenderloins yeah. and, and glaze them over. Uh... Oh, I think that'd be really good. This would be good Sweet on pork and, and chicken, but I don't know about beef. Folks. Pork and chicken? Yeah. Pork right. and chicken. Why would you win, run a good tenderloin? Oh, you right. ain't going to ruin it. Ain't gonna that ain't going to make it bad. Yeah. It's no, just sweet bad. and beef don't really go together. For me. I don't know. But a little old chicken thigh? Uh, you yeah, bet. Yeah, yeah, bottom yeah. dollar. Yeah, a little chicken thigh. Yeah. Your chicken bottom chicken dollar. Egg. That little brake pad? Egg. Yeah. I had a chicken thigh for lunch. A little brake pad. Yeah, them brake pads is good. That's one of the best things ever invented. A the bone, boneless chicken thigh. Yeah. They, they figured something out. There. Oh man, boneless chicken thigh. My they mom showed pies. up to work today with some that Dad grilled last night, and I said, "Don't so take them things. I cook Lord. them like I do them them duck wraps, you know." Oh yeah, stuff them with cream cheese and jalapenos. Slap a little around. fat over them and go. And they're pretty good. Oh man, are they good? Oh. Are they good? Well, hey, there you go. Better, uh, they're better than ducks. <laughs> Well, I don't know now, Tim. It's a long Tim list of things. That's, that's a long list of things is yeah. better than ducks. So. Uh, they are just delicious. not as fun. But no, yeah. thank you, Miss Jacklin. I appreciate that. I'm well, gonna I'm gonna put this to good use. And the the note said, "Keep on cooking, boys." Amen. So if y'all Amen. need y'all need speaking of cooking, honey, look, I was in Denver, Colorado this weekend. Were you? What yeah. you doing in Denver? I was at a sportsman's expo. Oh, did you go to that airport? I did. I was only in the A terminal, though. I didn't get to see none of the gargoyles or none of that. Oh, that's close. But, um, Illuminati gonna get you. Yeah. No, I was, <laughs> but I, I got a question to the folks of Colorado. What, what is it with these Rocky Mountain oysters? Do, you, do y'all know what that is? Isn't yeah. that buffalo yeah. or is yeah. it just regular yeah. cow? Yeah. I don't know what Not species cow. it is, but I know, I know what part it is. Yeah. It's, I don't it get come, it. It comes from a bull. And a cow don't have them. That's right. A cow don't, uh, a heifer doesn't have them. So are they young are steers? <laughs> are they? I don't know. But why? My question is why? Uh, uh, yeah, There's so much know. more of that animal. Why? Yeah. 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 I don't get it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Did you eat it? No. God, well, that, no. But maybe what if it's delicious? I don't yeah. care. I'm not that hungry. When the butcher, I'm not there yet. I that would, should not I, be a delicacy. I will say, say, when the butcher is doing his job, that's what it is. Cut that and throw it in the garbage. Yeah, that should be a last resort. Oh no, not you throw delicacy. that in the garbage. <laughs> like we're starving. We're out here on the plains. It's a bad deal. It's 1882. What, can't none of this rascal go to any sort of waste? I think okay. I would eat grasshoppers and everything else before I even go there. I would eat grass. Yeah. I'd probably cut them into little pieces and go try to catch me a fish off of them. Yeah. That's a yeah. great, I'm great idea. I ain't, I, mean, going, I ain't going there. No. I'd use him for bait or for fertilizer. Yeah, I think that. I ain't going there. I just you know, don't understand. Right after turn, the butcher needs to cut that away and throw it away. Well, do they right. fry them? How do they? How do they cook? Them? Yeah, they had them fried. Oh, they at cook that them every way. They had it. You had, you could get fried. Yeah. Or you could get like pan seared. Yeah. Oh, which you seems got to fry. Them. Which seems chewy. At the airport? <laughs> no, at a restaurant we went. Uh, to. Right. So my cousins lived in Colorado for a decade. Uh huh. I texted him. Yeah, one of the people working the thing was friends with Cali. There's my two of my cousins. Ah, oh yeah, there you go. So I said we're talking about Colorado. What's up with Rocky Mountain oysters? The question is why. My cousin responded, that's a great question that needs answering. I have not had them, and I'd like to meet the man who was so hungry that said, I guess I have to give those a shot. Give it a whirl. Even Colorado, well, he's a transplant, but they don't even know. Yeah. That is weird. It was was bizarre. 
I'd be, I'd be, I'd be tough as a, as if I had to go out and be on the survivor. Yeah, you wouldn't make it, would you? I wouldn't make it because hey, I'm going to die. I ain't eating that junk. Size, size what they call a picky eater. Oh, no, yeah. You'd get voted yeah. off pretty quick, too. <laughs> oh, no. I couldn't make it a bit. Yeah, yeah, You'd quit. Yeah, I, then don't like vote I, said, I would. You know, I can Did see you okay. Ever watch survivor? I, I looked at grasshoppers, and they got some pretty big ones. And if you cut them with chocolate and had them, uh, you know, fried them crispy, they'd probably be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey. I mean, I'm sure the oysters would be fine, too. If no. you covered them in chocolate and fried them crispy. No. But, I mean, I just I ain't going. Why down. do they call them oysters? If it's the same texture as an oyster, your boy is hard out. I'm pretty no sure way. that's why they call them oysters. Yeah. Well, oh. and a skinned one kind of looks like an oyster. Oh, you know. oh! All right, moving on. Well, I just I had to, I was just curious if any of y'all There's had run into it. Places that, I, but people oh. think that about us. Oh, they think the oh, same yeah. thing about a raw regulation oyster. Hey, if that's, that's the bucket good. list, here's what you do. What are you doing? Dump the bucket. No. Oh. Cross that baby off the bucket list. You're out? He ain't going there. Yeah, I just wonder what causes, <laughs> what brings a man to try that. Yeah. Now, the yeah. heart, I get the heart. Yeah. You know, when you're talking about pieces of stuff, I get heart. That's fine. He's good. Is he? Yeah, he ain't bad. Deer heart, he's fine. Cut him in little medallions, throw him in some butter in a skillet. He's yeah. a muscle just like anything yeah. else. I like the hamstrings, the <laughs> that ribs. Li <laughs> that liver's a little... A little gamey. Yeah. But, you know. Well, you ate chicken livers at restaurants. You got to acquire I like a chicken liver. Oh, yeah. The bigger the animal gets, now, the worse they get. If you go, you can go to North Mississippi and find you a mighty fine fried chicken liver. Oh, yeah. Chicken livers is good. It depends on where you get them. As long as they take that little thing out of them, that little gland. That oh, yeah. all that. Uh, Are you uh, into chicken liver, Si? Uh, no. I'll eat a chicken liver. What about a gizzard? Uh, yeah. You like a gizzard? Yeah. Heart? If it's clean, heart, yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. They're good in they're good in in what you call giblet gravy. That's right. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. handle that. Okay, gizzard, and though. you cut them thin. Okay? Yeah, Phil Phil takes all the gizzards out of the ducks yeah. and cuts them up. He lays them hearts and gizzards. Yep. Yeah, and he and he puts them in his gumbo. Yeah, makes gravy with them. Yep. And make it, good dirty rice. It's good delicious. base for dirty rice. Mm. Yep. Yeah, we we fillet a lot of duck gizzards. And a lot of goose gizzards because they got a lot of them on it. You just got to cut around that silver skin. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Look at Johnny. D. <laughs> cut that <laughs> out. <laughs> no, that's where the butcher job comes in. Okay. okay. Yeah. You cut that out, throw it away, and then you keep the cows and crappie. And Folks <laughs> listening, what are the weird things you eat in your area? Don't send us any, please. No, I don't want to. <laughs> don't want to eat I it. I don't want a box no. of it showed no. up here on dry ice. No. no. We just want to know in the comments, is there a weird local delicacy? Them people from Cincinnati that don't like me, they sent some... Uh, uh, what's it called? That bag chili. That's weird. <laughs> Skyline don't, chili. Don't ever eat try? anything. If you, you know they it? don't like you. Well, I don't know <laughs> don't if those particular, it. just most of Cincinnati doesn't I like know, you. I know, but did you try the I chili? ain't eating no chili from a bag. What are you talking about? It's in a bag. We're, it's well, somewhere hey. in this room, and it is weird. Is it well, ready? everything is it else is in a box, like cake mix and stuff. It's, no, it's ready to eat in a bag. bag. Yeah, he's just like. Add water? Oh, I don't. We gotta find oh. it. It's in this room. All it is the ingredients. Okay. No, no, no. It's the meat. No, it ain't the meat. I dummy. Think it, what? No, it's just the the ingredients. Well, he said you big dummy. <laughs> ain't no, they didn't send no meat ground I up in a bag. Well, Johnny D, go find it. Let's take our last break and we'll get in that inbox when we come back. Look, I found it. Chuck. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate it. Uh not sure we're gonna eat it. Um it, it, these are a Cincinnati favorite. It is Skyline Chili. It is in a microwavable pouch. Shake pouch, tear, put it in the microwave for two minutes, and uh, boom, you got chili. And it's good and well until Jesus you comes back in that. 2023. You need to <laughs> make that, take it home with you. I told you. And and put it in a microwave. Them hey. people that were mad at me about the Who Day thing are about to rip me a new one because I think they eat this. Hey, we got a microwave here if you yeah. want to try it while we're sitting here. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's clear on the bottom. Uh-oh. What does it look like? Like chili? Chili in a bag. I don't see the meat. Anyways, there thanks, thanks, Chuck. But Chuck did oh, send some other is. stuff. I wouldn't right. file that under... I mean, yes, the some delivery method is weird, but that's not a weird food. But but they eat it on spaghetti. You ain't never seen the skyline thing? It's a thing. I'll try it. No, I just read. I just read about it and said it was started by two Greek brothers, like back in the fifties. 
So hey, this is the fact this that goes, they poured over noodles. This goes with the me. butcher. What you do with this, JD? Is you throw that crap away. Now. We're going to let you try it. Look, all right, let's get in that inbox. Sorry. So, hello at Duck Call Room is the email address. Oh, Johnny D. Hi, Casey from Oklahoma. Three kiddos. And her oldest is about to turn 11 and will be in the sixth grade next school year. Should she was in second grade, her friends have had cell phones. My husband and I both agree that cell phones are a portal to danger, but at the same time, I under feel, understand she feels embarrassed that she's the only one without a phone. Do we have any advice? Are we being too strict? Is there a way for an 11 year old to have a phone but still be safe? Thank you. Okay, I, I've I've been through this. Okay, go I, ahead. I have teenage daughters. Uh, here, here's I, I've already dealt with all of it. Here's what you do. There's two two options. Um, option number one, they make cell phones now that look like iPhones, but they're not. They're not smartphones. They're just there for calls and texts. I forgot the name of them. Uh, uh, Jeff Jeff put me on those, and uh, those work good. Um, but I would say the best uh, the best thing that I found is to have an app. They make an app called I think Our Pact. Our Pact is the best one. A good friend of mine put me onto it. That app mirrors everything your child looks at. It could be every fifth text message could go back to you, but in their mind, they know that you can see everything they look at, and there's no there's no um, cheats to get around it either. It's it's rock solid. So check out that R pack thing. That way, you can let 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 her have a phone and have the peace of mind that, and knowing that you have checks and balances in place to hold her accountable. So there is a way around it, but I, I didn't let mine have them until they got to high school. Mm -hmm. um, I was just fixing to ask you, if you had to say no, <clears throat> what age group? I, I would say freshmen in high school, when they start going places, you know, especially when they start driving. I mean, they, yeah, yeah, because yeah. the technology is not going anywhere. Yeah. We, we just have to learn to deal with Gotta it. Got to deal with it, yep. So, But that app, that Our, our Pact app, it was works really good. For us, so there's no, there, there's no messing around on it. Like they take pictures, every fifth picture might come to you. If they get a, um, if they buy that, you could turn off app purchases, whatever. There, you can have. Uh, there's a timer on there. When it gets a certain time at night, the phone shuts off. There's no access to the phone. Yeah. So internet, pictures, uh, FaceTime, all that goes back to your phone. So get that out. If you if you think she needs a phone, go ahead and get that app to make sure, yeah, and and make sure she knows that you see everything that she looks at. Well, no, yeah, no, you don't want to be spying on them, right? But you want to be holding them accountable, so well, you got to no, tell no, them. No, no, no. That's right. Here's the thing: you need to have a relationship with your children to the point, okay, that you have honest and open communication going about. Okay, the dangers that are on them mm, things. Yes. Okay, you are human trafficking, sex, whatever. Okay, that's at their fingertips. This is instant communication worldwide. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it, it is a dangerous tool. There's and a lot hey, of, a lot of we live in a it. dangerous world. They, there are some evil people out there yeah. that they mean to do your child harm. harm. So be advised, stay on top of that for sure. I mean, it's, it's, it's a tough thing, our, our, especially our teenagers these days coming up, having to deal with that constant yeah. pressure and, and having that at the, at the end, like you say, at the yeah. end of their fingertips. It's, that's, that's a battle that has to be fought every day. And I was that kid growing up, too. My parents didn't. I didn't get one until I could drive, period. Yeah. And I was the late birthday. So, you know, all my buddies were like a year older than me. I was the one that had to – I was the youngest one in the grade, whatever, late, early, however you want to say that. It didn't matter. And I never had one. They all had one. But it was like oh, – as I a see. kid, you kind of wanted one. But then I figured out once I had one, I didn't want that either. Yeah. Oh, I'm that? just glad we grew up in the time. Like I, my first cell phone, you had to – 
hey, where are you, took seven minutes. Yeah, and the most trouble I can get into is killing my battery playing snake. Like, uh-huh. yeah. you know, Well, you so. know, when you're a teenager, you got what Jay's calls FOMO. Uh-huh. Fear of missing out. Yeah. Now, you know, you're scared you're going to miss out on something. So-and-so has it. I don't have it. I, I, I vaguely remember that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, no, I'm telling you, you, people, no matter how aggravating those kids get, do not use these devices as babysitters. Yeah. Do not no. do it. Yeah, no matter how, yeah. how much yeah. you're tempted to do it, do not leave them alone with the device. I don't care what game they're playing, that these oh. these children's games, there are predators on those message scrolls in the top corner that that are out to do harm to your children. So do I, not use it for a babysitter. I let my kids watch cartoons the other day, just on the regular cable. Nothing's wrong with just Disney Junior. Well, they start clicking, start clicking. They don't know what they're doing. They're nope. six years old. Right. I walk in, and it's a cartoon. They're playing Uno. And every other word, is, I, I ain't talking the easy cuss words. I'm talking like. Oh, yeah, filthy. J- and, I, yeah. and I went, what is happening? And my kids j- didn't even realize what they were hearing. And they looked at me like I was crazy. And I looked at them and I'm like, what are we watching? They're like, it's not YouTube. And I was like, because there ain't no YouTube in our house. And I'm like, I don't, wh- I don't know how. And it wasn't like I'm, I just, it wasn't like I was like, hey, go. It was a simple mistake that can be made if you're not watching every move because why people would make a cartoon to teach kids cuss words, which is what I felt like happened, mm-hmm. just just like that. Wasn't well, paying attention that, for five minutes, and that's what happened. There are, pe- don't- there are people out there in that world that have an agenda, oh, and yeah. their agenda is to teach your kids what they believe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not Divide what you the believe. family. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, why I said, okay, you, know, you need to have a – open and honest relationship with your children. Okay, because I would rather they learn the truth about stuff from dad and mom instead of learning it from the world. Yeah. Okay, Way that's why I was way. asking on the age thing. Okay, guys, we live in a wicked and, and dark world. Okay, and like Jay keeps saying, there are people out there that will harm your children. Oh yeah, they hunting them. They're hunting, you know, they're hunting them for for whatever. Yeah. Okay, so I, yeah. You know. And these days they're very bold. Yeah. Oh yeah. Very. Well, I appreciate you, Jay. I I kind of saved that one for you because I knew uh, I knew you'd done some stuff with phones, and uh, it scares me to death just because my kids are. Which that one said second grade kids have phones, and that blows my mind. I'm out on that. Because my son's gonna be in second grade. Oh, gab year. gab phones. That's what they're called. Gab phones. Gab phones. Well, I, I appreciate you answering that, and 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 I think that's something that scares the bejeez out of me. Because I mean, I remember the technology I had. I used it to get in trouble. Yeah. One of my buddies, his son's in fourth grade. He got a phone for when we go hunting because he wanted to hunt by himself. Uh huh. Now, so it's fun watching a fourth grader text you while you're deer hunting. <laughs> Everything is phonics. He's trying to spell out the stuff that we say all the time, so it's hilarious. But that's it. Like, he gets it when we get to the camp. He's got it. He can text us yep. while we're there. Yep. And then when we go, it's gone. Yeah. So, but it is funny to have a conversation <laughs> via text with, oh, no, no, with a fourth grader. That's what, you know, most people do not talk on phones these days. No. No. Hey, no. Waste the time. Right. You know, I miss the old walkie-talkie days. You remember, do you ever go to Godwin shop back in the day? When he had that big old antenna. Oh, CB. And he, uh-huh. and he had that CB, and he would, he, 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 for fun, he would sit in there and talk to those uh, truck drivers. Yeah. yeah. He had a, he had, what was his name on there? I hope it Flying was. Flying Flea. <laughs> I hope no. it was Wow. No, yeah. it was the Gray Ghost. Gray Ghost. <laughs> Gray Ghost coming in here, Hunter back at me. Hunter, <laughs> God went hard enough to understand in person. I can't imagine him over a CB with a little uh, static. Oh, he'd sit in there for hours all night long. Well, uh, no, no, because you got to think about this, though. But he was doing the truck drivers a favor. Keeping them up. Yeah. Keeping them up. That's right. Keeping yeah. them alert. And if I know God, when he probably shared the gospel with a bunch of them. Oh, no. Yeah. Guaranteed yeah. he did. Yeah. yeah. Well, Johnny D, you want to send us out of here? But first, we did get invited to a wedding, guys. Yeah, oh, boy. Uh, Abigail and Michael are getting married on June 3rd. We wish you the best of luck. Uh, it is in Snohomish, Washington. That's a long walk. That's a long way. So 
Probably not going to make it, but congratulations. Thanks for the invite, though. It's a really fancy card. We ain't too, Michael, we ain't your too, wife did a great job on these on cards. Washington, everybody <laughs> sleeps this in Washington. There we go. That was one movie 20 years well, ago. Hey, All right, but I got us a Bible verse from earlier when we were talking about uh, – Al's message, and I'm gonna have to go watch that. I didn't, I didn't hear it, uh, so I think that it'll be on. I looked it up. It's on Facebook. On it'll w- be in your vest interest too. <laughs> he wears a vest. Sorry, uh, <laughs> but it is on WFR <laughs> Church's uh, Facebook page. So if you want to check out what they were talking about, go look at that. I'm going to, yeah. but uh, this is just the verse that came to mind when they were talking about that. Ephesians 4:31 didn't so much come to mind but 32 does get rid of all bitterness rage and anger brawling and slander along with every form of malice so get rid of all that be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other just as in christ god forgave you amen we'll see y'all next time right here that's a good one to go out on boys